Now, an emeritus news brief, I'm Lynn Houston. Besides the arrest of Governor Blagojevich and his chief of staff, a lot of other big issues to tell you about today. First, workers at Walmart stores in Minnesota won a $54 million settlement with the company for unpaid overtime and breaks. The judge in the case said the company committed more than 2 million violations of state labor laws. Other details on the story and a joint statement from the workers and the company on the Emeritus News homepage. And those workers who took over the Republic Window and Door Factory in Chicago over the weekend got good news today. Bank of America has agreed to extend credit to the company in order to settle that dispute. The workers claim they were given only three days notice of losing their jobs and insurance despite the required 75 days notice. The company claimed it didn't have the money because it couldn't get the credit, so the workers refused to leave unless they received severance pay, back pay, and benefits. Sony Corporation has announced it will lay off more than 8,000 workers worldwide due to the worldwide recession and product lines that are not making any money. Specific locations were not revealed, however, one plant in France was mentioned as a closure. An abuse case involving six aides at the Good Samaritan Nursing Home in Albert Lee, Minnesota has prompted an advocacy group to hold a town meeting there. The Perfect Cause President, Wes Bledsoe, will hold a meeting Thursday night at the Albert Lee Inn. The meeting organized partially due to the public outrage over state law that allows juveniles to be employed as nursing home aides. The case broke after the nursing home called police about the incidents. And Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich was arrested today along with his chief of staff, John Harris, charged with trying to sell his appointment of President-elect Barack Obama's vacated Senate seat. Prosecutors say wiretapped conversations revealed a governor who had taken his brand of corruption to a new low. Leaders in the Illinois legislature are researching whether they can take that appointment away from the governor and let the voters decide in a special election. The latest on the biggest issues and public policy at emeritusnews.com. That's an Emeritus News Brief. I'm Lynn Houston.